Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. This week I'm going to take the other half of that slab of pork belly that we made the bacon with and we're going to make some fantastic pork belly burn ends on the Kamado Joe. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do to get this project started is fire up my Kamado Joe Classic. I've got some uh, hardwood lump charcoal going here and I've got a few chunks of cherry wood on there. So we're going to set the slow roller in place and then I'm going to set my grill grates up here on the top part of this rack. And I'm going to bring this grill up to about 250 degrees. And while the Kamado Joe's warming up, I'm going to go ahead and prep this uh, piece of pork belly. This is about three pounds, and I'm going to cut this guy into blocks about, I don't know, an inch to an inch and a half. I want them to be fairly healthy, so let's uh, go ahead and run down and get that done. I think that looks just about perfect. So I'm going to take these and uh, put these in one of my stainless steel mixing bowls so we can work some seasoning onto this. And then I'm just going to take my Man Cave Magic number two pork rub and toss that in there. And we're just going to work these guys and get a really nice liberal coat of this rub all over these. And in the video description, I'll give you the recipe for this rub. This is my go-to homemade pork rub. Really, really works great. And we'll just keep on tossing this. And that's about what I want this to look like. So I'm going to put these out now on a tray with a rack simply because these guys produce a lot of fat and I'm just going to ease the cleanup process by cooking these on a rack. And that's looking about perfect. And when you get these on here, if, you, if you're cooking them on a rack, you can shake a little bit more of your rub on top if you like. So those guys are ready to go to the grill as soon as it warms up. My Kamado Joe Classic is up to temp, and I've got a nice, beautiful cherry wood smoke rolling there. So we're going to set these burn ends right on here, and we're going to let them cook. I'm going to come back and have a look in probably two and a half hours. Okay, we're, we are three hours in, and I'm pretty happy with how these guys look right here. So we're going to move on to the next phase of this cook. I'm going to pull all of these off and put them into this smaller Dutch oven that I have. And once I have these in the Dutch oven, we're going to add in a stick of butter that I've cut up into slices. And then we're going to sprinkle on a little bit of brown sugar on top of that. And to that, we're going to drizzle on a little bit of honey and we're going to put the lid on that and put it back on the grill and we'll just open the grill back up I'm going to set this back on here we're going to leave the temperature where it is and we're going to let that go for 90 minutes okay guys we are halfway through our last 90 minutes here so what I want to do is pop the top off here oh yeah those are looking great and I just want to give these guys kind of a toss in that butter and honey and brown sugar mixture that we've applied to this so we get that flavor all over that so these things are looking amazing so we're going to go back with the lid on and get the next 45 minutes we are at the end of our 90 minutes, so let's pop in here and have a look at these guys. Oh yeah, man, that's looking absolutely perfect in there. Okay, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna pull these off into another pan. So I've pulled these off and left uh, all the fat and butter and whatnot behind, and now I'm going to put on some uh, barbecue sauce and. This is an experimental mustard-based barbecue sauce that I'm working on that hopefully I'll be sharing with you pretty soon. So I'm just going to kind of douse this with that. 
and we're going to put it back on the smoker here for about 15 minutes. So I've set these back on. We'll close the lid and let them go for about another 15 minutes, maybe 20 to let that sauce set up. Okay guys, we've given this some time to set up and wow, these things are ready. They're looking absolutely amazing and we're going to have just a little quick taste test. They're nice and hot. Mmm. Oh yeah. These melt in your mouth. They are perfect consistency and I have not once checked the temperature here. This is a cook that I've cooked the time. I just did basically two and a half to three hours in the smoke, another 90 minutes covered in the pan with the butter, brown sugar, a little bit of honey, and then we uh, took them out, sauced them, and let the sauce set up. So you're looking at four and a half hours, five hours to produce this. You're going to have to give it a try. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.